Hi all, welcome back to our channel. In this video, it will give you a detailed note on creating and managing repairs with Odo 15 repair module. Repair management is straightforward with the Odo 15 repair module and it is highly integrated with Odo to give you full access to the inventory and other essential tools for repair management. All repairing orders with their live updates are listed here in this video. And you can configure or create and manage multiple repair orders from this dashboard. So you can click on the create button and the page to configure the new repair order opens up here. So here we can consider an example for creating the repair order. A customer returned a product that your company had delivered earlier. And the customer needs it repaired as soon as possible. So here we can use the configuration to record a new repair report for the customer submitted product. The elementary step in the process is to type in the description for the repair. Usually the issue with the product is given here in this space. For example, if the desk you have separate has a screw missing, then you can type in missing screw. So the description will allow you and your repair team to understand the repair detail for easy management quickly. After typing the reason for the description for repair, you have to select the product that has the issue from the product to repair field. So it can be chosen from the drop down window. In this case, we have to select the customizable desk as the product implying that it is missing a vital screw. And the next step in the process is choosing the number of product required to be repaired from the product quantity field. So here we can enter the number of product and we can choose the unit from the unit field. Then we can choose the customers from the customers field. So the delivery address will be auto allocated here. Then we can choose the sales order. And here we can see the responsible person. And then we can enter the schedule date for the repair from the schedule date field. And then we can allocate the location, company, warranty expiration. And here we can choose the invoice method as no invoice before repair and after repair. So we have already done a video explaining the three types of invoice method. So you can refer that video. And also here we can see the option to provide the tax. In the part section of the configuration section, you can choose the product or components that need to be included or removed from the main product. So here we can select the type by clicking on the add a line option. So the type section consists of two options that is add or remove. If you choose the add, it will be immediately recognized as the product that should be applied to the main product. And if you choose the remove, then Odoo will recognize it as a product that needs to be provided from the main product. In this case, we have to add the missing screw to the table. So we have to opt the add from the options. And then we can choose the product that needs to include in the main product. So we can choose the component or the product from the list and the field supporting the product will be automatically filled with respect to the product configuration. Similarly, you can choose multiple products or components for removing or adding to the main product. Here in this field, we can find operation options to add the operation to the repair process. Then you can add the repair notes and the quotation notes in this window. After completing all the steps, you can click on the save button to save the details. And now the repair order is in the quotation stage and you can confirm the repair by clicking on the confirm repair icon here in this window. So when you confirm the repair, it will change into the confirm stage. And now we are able to start the repair operation. For confirming it, you can click on the start repair. So when you complete your task, you can click on the end repair. Now the repair was completed. And here you can see that the stage is changed to repair. For easy management and report viewing, the repair report will be displayed here in this window. All of the live updates on the repairing procedures are marked under the status section of this page. So similarly, all of the updates on the repair procedures can be accessed from here for easy management. 
so here in this window we can see the repair reference schedule date product to repair customer delivery address warranty expiration sales order company and the status apart from the list view here we have the campaign view graph view and also the pivot view so one of the most critical factor that makes the odo 15 repair module unique is that it is fully integrated with the odo 15 inventory and maintenance module for maximum efficiency the inventory and the maintenance module provide the repair module with complete access to the product and various product categories the integration will help you to access all of your product and the components of the product for configuring the repair report without any clutter so that's all about the video thank you for watching